Good morning, modern steaders. What a rainy, yucky morning this morning. Ah, it's supposed to rain all day today. I'm glad we've got a good indoor project to do. I want your feedback on a few things when we get in the barn. I want to get some of your ideas. Good morning, pigs. Did I wake you? There you go, look at that. That's what you call breakfast in bed. <laughs> ah, they love it. Spoiled pigs, but they'll be spoiling us this winter when we're eating good. videos we've been having a lot of people asking us how we're gonna be running our electrical wiring in the workshop. We're gonna run it in electrical conduit. Most likely gonna be using the gray PVC style. We're using that for two reasons. One is because being a workshop barn, if we need to move anything, our wiring's not stuck in the wall. Also, there can be mice and critters in here and they love to chew wires. So I'd rather have the wiring and electrical conduits, so that way we don't have to worry about critters getting to them. This way, later on, if we decide, hey, I don't want an outlet there, or I need another one here, we can easily add on and move it around. Thank you, Willow. Morning, Hope. You guys want some seaweed? Yeah, watch out. I don't think the goats will leave the barn today. It's supposed to rain all day. Different animals are funny. Some will come out in this weather. Goats don't like to. The boy goats seem to sometimes. Yeah, it's raining out. You coming out? Zeke's like, sure. <laughs> Good morning, Moose. The chickens and the ducks don't mind this weather. Ready to see how wet we get? Oh, we got too much stuff to lug in. It's raining so hard, we gotta bring the truck down. Hear the noise difference? Gotta get suited up. I feel like Darth Vader. So this is what I was thinking is I'll start high, I'll move, and you can do the bottom after I've got so that way we're not working against each other. So and then that you know what I mean. So we are using fast drying polyurethane clear satin. We don't want a shiny finish. Better put my gloves on before I get too sticky.
How's that look? On the, what's that? I like that, that looks cool. We're both out. Thank you. I just love the look of this. These posts and beams when they get covered with the polyurethane, it just looks so nice. Oh yeah, that's cool. So good. Do a pork roast in the oven tonight. The hardest part is what am I gonna have for sides. So I'm um, gonna make a rub for it. Let's try and see how this is. A tablespoon of salt. Thank you. 
spray the top with avocado oil. It is cold rain. We're going to have to start a fire in a little while and warm the house up. Yeah. It wasn't cold earlier, like 10, 15 minutes ago. It's going to get even colder. No. It was nice and warm this morning and last night. Why can't it stay like that for the rest of the year? Good thing the chickens are close. Or some of the chickens. Most of the chickens. Oh yeah, the goats are in the barn. Yeah, the goats aren't going to be out today. <laughs> you look like wet rats. How many eggs? I don't know, how many do you think? I'm thinking 15. 15, I'll say 16. War six. Well, How many did you say? I said fifteen. You said fifteen. Ah, we were right in the middle. Ooh. What do you think? Don't trip on the cord. Oh. Does it look different? Yeah, it looks really good. Caleb's lost his voice. Yeah. He's been doing that like nonstop. Yeah, don't touch it, it's still drying. Okay. It's looking good though. Yeah, it looks super good. You like the post and beams? Yeah. That's probably my favorite part, and then like putting this. Like the light green. color? Yeah. Yeah. And then still having this pop out. Right. <laughs> There's a few reasons why we did the poly on the walls and on the beams. <laughs> One of them, it looks nice, but the bigger reason is, is we're going to be making a big old mess out here all the time, whether it's with man glitter or other things. The plans for the workshop is we want to have a woodworking shop, but also I want to be able to work on vehicles, repair vehicles, tractors arts and crafts stuff, whatever we need to do, I want to be able to do it in this workshop. I'm out here, Gina's out here, Olivia's out here, so we want to have it like multifunctional. So if we need to blow it out, clean it out, if we get a lot of dust, we can just blow off the walls and it'll go out. If we get paint or anything like that on the walls, we'll be able to wipe it off or sand it off a lot easier. But I need your help on a few things. I want your, some ideas and feedback for setting up the workshop area. Let's go over here and I'll show you what I have in mind so far. So back here under the loft, I want to make like a U workbench. What I was thinking on this side right here, if I make like a drop down step right here that our chop saw can fit in. So it'd be set down for as big as the chop saw, but then have the table come back up on the side so we can have boards going back and forth. I'm thinking if we do it, Say somewhere around here, that's about eight feet. So you can have an eight foot board on that side and whatever you need overhang over here. <sighs> oh no guys, the trash bag fell over that had urethane in it. Don't. Man, not sure how that happened, but accidents happen. And now we got urethane all over the floor. If any of you want measurements, the shop is 16 feet, it's probably almost 15 feet interior, interior width by 30 feet, so say 29 feet on the inside. I don't want to put workbenches past halfway and then maybe have like a shelf on one side but not the other. Or if we, we get better lighting, if we do have shelves movable so that way if we need to work on a vehicle we have plenty of room on the inside i'm thinking a mobile roll around cart to put the table saw on so we can move it 
to the center of the workshop and we don't need it, we can push it up against the wall. We want to have everything mobile and multifunctional, but with one big workbench area set up for doing anything. So what kind of workbench should we make? Should we make like a butcher block style one? Butcher block style with two by fours, just out of plywood. We're gonna want a vise in one spot. We're gonna want that to be rugged enough so we can do some good hammering if we need to. All sorts of stuff. I know there's things I'm forgetting, so if you have any good ideas, leave them in the comments down below on our about page, or I'll put it in the video description. I'll leave my email. If anybody wants to email us anything, that'd be awesome. I know we're not going to get it set up perfect at first, but if we can be thinking what we're going to be using it for in the best layout, it'll be awesome. Because it's a good size area, but it's not huge, so we want to maximize it the best we can. But it's coming along nice, guys. I can't wait to see what we'll be doing for projects into this winter. Leave it in the comments down below and let us know what kind of projects you want to see us building in here first. We have one bigger project that we're trying to find one piece, it's a big piece, to do the project. So, it'll be a fun one though. But yeah, so I don't know if they should be two by fours, just plywood tops, or how we should do them. And then, this side's the chop saw, this is for working. One side, I don't know what this side is for, maybe we don't put a, a top here, and we put one of my toolboxes out here, the toolboxes can go up against one of these walls. We've been getting a lot of questions about lighting and electrical, we're gonna be running electrical conduit, up on the top beam and then down for the outlets wherever we need them but we'll figure that out when we have the layout done with the workbenches and where we're going to need our plugs up high we're going to be running i think we're going to run some i don't know probably about 12 feet high up on the peak i'm going to run some two by fours and that way we can run the electrical conduit off of that and the chains for our led lighting and i'm thinking i don't know between nine and 12 lights for in here I'm not sure if we should paint the ceiling or what we should do. All that stuff is still kind of like we're in the works. So any suggestions, we'd love to hear them. that Gina made to put on this ham roast is delicious. I'm watching the video of seeing how she made it while I'm editing it and I'm like, ah, I think that was the trick. Spritzing it with the avocado oil gave it a nice crispy crust on the outer layer. That was delicious. Uh, sorry about the video a little bit today, guys. It was raining out, it was dark out, and we only have one light out in the workshop, so the lighting was not the greatest and then the audio was not the greatest it was raining cats and dogs just about all day long we got about inch and three quarters of rain that day it was nuts and then i lost a bunch of footage i don't know you saw we were wearing respirators those fumes in the workshop were crazy so i don't know if the fumes were getting to the camera and the camera wasn't recording everything i think i just didn't hit the record button a couple of times but there was a few clips that i thought i recorded that I couldn't find anywhere so it was a couple of things missing but very happy with it the way it came out we put oh two coats on of polyurethane we put it on really heavy so it's almost equivalent to four coats going by the coverage that minwax says we should be getting out of one gallon she said it should have taken one gallon to do the whole shop it took us three gallons to do two coats so I'm curious to see what it looks like when it dries. We get the satin finish. I don't like too much sheen. I like to have like the more of the dull look. But I'm hoping that by having so much poly on the walls that they'll brush off and dust off easy. I know we'll be making a mess and doing a lot of different projects out here. So we want to be able to have it so we can clean it up easy. We also want the workshop to be a family workshop. So if any of us want to make a project that we can go out there, clean it up, and do what we need to do for the project. So. Hoping it all turns out good 
we've got a few more things we need to do. The weather's going to be getting nice again, so we got some outdoor stuff we got to take care of before winter comes, because I know, guys, we're planning for it, but snow is already coming. Not looking forward to it. Reading the quote right now, it says, Sometimes things become possible if we want them bad enough. That is so true. We just got to want it and have determination to make it ours. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.